everyone, we're back. My name is Miss Scarlet Tanager, and we're playing some Shadow Hearts. Let's go to Nemeton, because we don't know that game at all. <clears throat> yeah, because this doesn't, you know, stick out at all. What the hell? Is this some kind of alien's house? Hmm? It's a little loud for me. Be careful! It may fuse or transform or something. It's not a Gundam. Are you kidding? Don't tell me you believe that junk. Oh boy. <laughs> what are you back for? Huh? But, you know, it's dangerous. What if they transform? <laughs> That's what Alice just said. Nothing's gonna transform. You nerd. Well, it might be dangerous if you get too close. Come on, let's go. Uh, it might be dangerous if you get too close as we walk right up to it. Why does why does Roger Bacon's house have a heart on it? Police looking house and it isn't locked or anything. Go inside. Screw it. <laughs> this place is incredibly cool. There's a strange machine here. I think this house is going to transform. Yeah, and then the whole thing will rock it off. I mean... <laughs> Where did you grow up? <laughs> Alice again was saying the same thing outside. <laughs> Don't worry about it, dude. I grew up in Mother Russia. Slash Japan. His mom was... Okay, his mom was technically German, but she pretended she was Russian. It's confusing. Things you'll find out in the next game. Machine with the moving floor sur moving floor surface. The complex gears seem to be made by true craftsmen. I'm gonna see what this does. She made out of junk and old metal. Looks like it becomes a cockpit when transformed. I love how they're just assuming it transforms into something. Oh come on, that looks important. Complicated schematic diagram is spread across the desktop. It's a computer. You see the light? Ooh, that's where the light gravestone was. Okay. So now I have the fire, the dark, and the light gravestone. I don't think I'm going to actually get to level 3 fusion this playthrough. I probably won't even get Seraphic Radiance. Which, by the way, yes, you can get that as a um, fusion for Yuri. It requires lots of stuff I haven't done yet, though. <laughs> okay, let's go to Nemeton. Since apparently the game's like, don't break into the house, totally breaks into the house. Let's go to the Nemeton Monastery. Which is going to go so well. Again, if you don't detect the sarcasm in my tone, go watch my Kodelka Let's Play. <laughs> Whoa! Incredible ruins! So this is the evidence of the monastery's research into raising the dead. There was something here. But now, this entire place is like a graveyard. Dot dot dot. It's just so sad. Oh yeah. You can hear the cries of the dead roaming this area. Oh no shit, that's Roger Bacon. I thought it was Albert Simon. Hi Bacon! Yes, this is true bacon. This this is this is some primo cured pork right here. Who's this? <laughs> You see all of these things, not human, not ghosts. Happy things, unfortunate things, lucky things, poor things, misunderstood things. Necessary things, unneeded things, all of them return to the earth and heavens. Who are you? He's a pervert. Why turn your back on me? But what? Um, I don't think I should look into your eyes. Cause these got super creepy bug eyes. Giggle snort. Well, wasn't that to blow a stinger? <laughs> What's it called? Verbal abuse? The one that always spars with the freedom of speech. Bada boom, bada bing. You get my meaning? Hey, just now, just, what is with you? Me? I'm... I... Str 
strange creature. <laughs> what do you think? You made me think you could name me. Thought I could be your new friend. <laughs> well, sorry. <laughs> Excuse me, princess. Maybe it would have been more time. We could have been friends. I'll barely finish the schedule even as is. But, boy, it would have been fun to adventure with you. What are you babbling about? See, because you can change the names of the other characters, and you can change the names of characters who are going to be in your party. This isn't telling us, breaking the fourth wall here, telling us he's not going to be in our party. I guess it doesn't matter. What doesn't matter? Don't worry about it. Um... Who exactly are you? My name is Roger Bacon, the eternal prodigy lover of science and learning. Huh? What? Roger Bacon? He's primo pork here. It's true deal. Yes. Are you here for delivery? Kodelka told us to come here. Oh, shit. Kodelka? You mean that Kodelka? You even know who Kodelka is, little geezer? Oh, of course I do! I wouldn't forget that strange girl. Kodelka Iasan, correct? <laughs> How annoying are you guys with my Roger Bacon voice? I see. So the time has come. Why don't you all come inside? Yes, I turned Roger Bacon into a valley girl. Shut up. It can't be that... Yeah, it's the thing next to the monastery. I'll be waiting. Come see me, okay? I'm gonna figure out a better voice for him. <laughs> Who the heck was that? Roger Bacon. At least that's what he said. Sketch as fuck. <laughs> Well, yeah, for those who know the original game, or for the prequel, Kodelka, yeah, that's actually Roger Bacon. <laughs> that's why from the very first episode I went, ah, oh, fake Roger Bacon, when I was looking at Albert Simon, because he is not cool enough to be Roger Bacon. Roger Bacon's, I, I think he's hilarious. I think he's hilarious. It's hilarious in Kodelka, at least. I see. And that's why you came to see me. Um, Mr. Roger Bacon? Please call me Roger. What is it, Alice? How do you know Kodelka? Ten years ago. Do okay, so that means that... Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait. Wait. I'm gonna let you finish, Roger. That means that Hallie is nine. Because Hallie's father is oh god what's his name the other the other protagonist from Kodelka the the American dude I can't remember his actual name off the top of my head that's Hallie's father it is implied that in the bad ending at least Kodelka and him had a night of passion before he went back to America and that produced Hallie right if the stuff with the Nemeton monster happened ten years ago gestational period for for humans is eight to nine months right so that means that Hallie, at the very most, is just over nine years old. <laughs> oh no. Ten years ago, those ruins were called Nemeton Monastery. In reality, the monastery was a jail for political prisoners with life sentences. In time, its roles of prison faded away and the building was bought by a man named Patrick. Then, that dreadful incident happened. Dreadful incident. We're gonna recap Kodalka right now. Patrick moved into Nemetin with his beautiful wife Elaine and a pair of servants. But one day some bandits broke into their home and took Elaine's life. Patrick couldn't accept her death and delved into deep research of black magic. He finally raised her from the dead, but what returned was not his wife, but a hideous monster. Kodalka defeated that monster and released Elaine's soul. Hey, that story's the same as Jack's at the orphanage. 
Does that emigre something or that book have something to do with it? You... You know of the emigre document? Patrick used it extensively in his research. How did Patrick get a hold of the emigre document? I'm not sure, but I think he bought it from someone. Probably Simon. A man stole that book from the Vatican. His name is... Roger Bacon. Who? Me! <laughs> but he's actually Cardinal Albert Simon. Maybe he sold the document to Patrick. No. <gasps> oh, shit. Albert? Albert Simon? Uh-oh. <laughs> Uh-oh, spaghetti. I love how he just has this, like, it's just straw-colored hat on. I see. He's been concerned these past years with the study of the deepest laws of the universe. I knew it. He hasn't given up yet. We're fighting against Albert. You know Cardinal Simon? Yes, I knew him well. He was a student of mine. Your student? Is that true? It's true. How long ago was it now? I'd say about 300 years before I slept here. So, 310. It's about the time period when he followed the Crusaders and fought against the Ottoman Empire. Alright. <laughs> oh, what's his actual voice? Of all my disciples, he stood out <laughs> as the finest. In fact, he was too good. Having come from the lowest and poorest class of society, Albert lifted himself up and applied himself diligently to study so that he why could does, change the Why does Bacon have a birds on it, like a bird I on his head? He has two birds on his head. What? Promise in him. And I taught him everything I knew. <gasps> Law, philosophy, science, astronomy, alchemy. But in time, he began to question certain contradictions he saw in the world. The ruling classes and the subjected masses. He came to reject a world in which a person's place was determined that, by his birth. And he lost patience with me when I attempted to moderate his views. In the me up on charges before the court of the Vatican. But it was he who the church condemned. Of course. In an age of absolutism, anyone who called for the granting of rights to individual citizens could do nothing but anger the powers that be, whether in the church or the state. Any such person was destined to be condemned as a heretic and locked away forever. <laughs> Looking at, uh, I'll, I'll play him. The truth is, I knew that he was right. But I also knew that a world in which everyone could live as equals was nothing but a pipe dream. Perhaps it could be achieved in time, as knowledge spread more widely among the people. But for that age, it was an idea much too far ahead of its time. So yeah, to explain what I just did there, um, for some reason I just got struck with like the art style of that cutscene. Like, looking at the face, particularly of Albert Simon, it looked like exactly like something Tetsuya Inamura would have drawn, so I went, wait a minute, he didn't design this, did he? He didn't. It was somebody else. Uh, <laughs> I just had to make sure I'm like, wait a minute. Wait a minute. <laughs> he plotted revenge because his ideas weren't accepted? That's not very nice. <laughs> okay, let's see if I can get something slightly closer. <clears throat> Ow, did I just...
So no big deal, but I just had to do minor surgery on my foot. For those who don't know, I have unfinished uh, wood floors in my room. And I just accidentally got like a two inch long shard of wood in my big toe. <laughs> Let's playing is hazardous. I should get hazard pay. <laughs> Albert changed after the trial. His cynical smile did little to hide the darkness behind his eyes. Ignoring my advice, he pushed himself to the limit and ended up becoming trapped by the black arts. He unsealed forbidden magics and worked to fulfill his dream. The total destruction of society. But I feel like I can understand how he felt in a way. We can't leave him be. Albert will do something drastic using Kodelka's power. We have to stop him. Well, we don't know where he is. You can try. If I'm right, he is close. What? What? <laughs> I'm sure Kodelka realized that what Albert was about to do. In that case, we don't have much time. I was trying to make it slightly closer to Roger's eyes. I probably failed. <laughs> You're prepared to fight him, correct? Yeah, but I don't know how long we'll last fighting him. But I won't give up till we settle this. Okay, then. I shall assist you. I'll take you to Albert. Roger, really? He's gonna use this in an experiment. This teleporter isn't completed yet, but the vending machine works fine. Get whatever you might need. <laughs> and pay him! Wait for me at the Nemeton Monastery ruins when you're ready. Okay. Okay. I'm not sure. But I think the point of no return for Alice is either right after this next boss fight or it's right before the boss fight. I don't know which. <laughs> I'm still getting- as much as I really want to get the good ending, I'm going to get the bad ending because that's what goes into goes into Shadow Hearts 2 Covenant. Mm. Ugh, it, pu it pulls a fatal frame 2 on you. Um, it's, it's like, it's how that, it how it be. Sometimes it just be like that. Uh, touch it. Okay. Hey, what's it called? Continental Zero. Okay, cool. Yes, I have two valid guild cards. I would have a 50% discount, but I didn't get any of the other ones. I got the money, though. Yeah, I got a shit ton of money. Um, what do we got here? We've got Halley. So let's focus on getting these three, their stuff. Yeah. This is gonna take a minute, I'm just gonna skip through this. Alright, so took a minute, but I think I got most of what I'm gonna need for this. Wait for me at the Nemeton Monastery Ruins when you're oh right, it's the, <laughs> it's the monastery in these. Um <clears throat> so I'm pretty sure I'm not going to get any of the ultimate weapons. I might get a couple on accident. <laughs> but like, I'm not trying to do 100% walkthrough or anything like that. If I was doing that, I'd be getting the good ending. <laughs> and, you know, I wouldn't have skipped half of the side quest. Actually, probably more than half the side quest now that I think about it. But... To the Nemeton Monastery. That's gonna end well for us. No. No, it's really, like, not. Sorry to keep you waiting. I'll show you the last secret that remains in these ruins. Keep waffling on his voice. Oh, bollocks. Is there really something here? Keep your eyes open. Boogity boogity woogity. <laughs> That's what he just did. Boogity boogity woogity. You'll soon found out, find out why I reside here. Go ahead. As he goes in first, like what? Okay. <laughs> Save point. Tch. Compulsive saving is compulsive. 
Compulsive saving is compulsive. <laughs> this place it's full of evil spirits can you sense the atmosphere of curse and chaos that remains here i'm proud of you kodelka's power sealed him but his spirit remains it makes me shiver to even think of him are you okay and she's not going to be by the end of this let's play yes thank you The large pot over there was used to create a human who shouldn't have existed. Elaine's body without her soul turned into an inhuman entity. Patrick didn't intend for that. Now I have to put down Patrick. Since ancient times, this place has been called Neem. It contains a mysterious power. There are other places like this as well. Let's see. Such as Easter Island, the civilization of Atlantis, and the lost continent of Mu. All those places were situated upon the Earth's nerve points. Earth's nerve points? You mean like an acupuncture? <laughs> Damn it, Yuri. That's right! The stars have a strong influence on this location. Unusual powers build up here. So, this is a special place on the planet? Yes! It's where a certain something is sealed in place. And now he wants us to go kill it. <laughs> Damn it. Just as I thought, someone opened this door. This door was made in ancient times to seal the ruins. You've seen this seal before, haven't you? This is the illustration of the soul that's called the Judgment Ring. It's the thing that spinny spinnies when you're in a fight. Those three eyes drawn here describe motive, Action and outcome. Motive is the conscience of life. Action is the possibility of life. Outcome is the destiny of life. Receptacles of our souls. This is the common principle in all human. This is the common principle that all humans share. You're following your will to grab your future on your own. And you'll see the outcome of your actions on the other side of the door of judgment. Sounds ominous. The door of judgment. And at the end of this path, shall you find Albert and Cordelka? They'll be there without fail. This is the furthest I can go. You must decide on your own if you want to walk through the door or not. <laughs> kind Roger, you really think we've come this far just to turn back? We've determined to go to the ends of the earth long ago, buddy. Alright, you're right. That's why we're here, after all. I made a promise to rescue my mother. <laughs> Alright. Let me open the door of judgment for you. This is gonna go so well. I'll wait here. I trust you'll be back. Thank you, Roger. Okay, bye. <laughs> this is gonna end so well. Doobity doobity doob. Oh, good, it's a dungeon. dungeon. Uh, left. <laughs> I always go left. Always go left. The seal of flame, when the seal and the flame shall shine together, the treasure will be open. Oh, oh crap, it's a puzzle, isn't it? Damn it. Oh! chest. It's chesticle. A Mauser prototype. I'm I'm going to bet that's for Margaret. Who was that? Who was that? Okay. I hear the thing. I want the thing. The purple light. Alrighty then. I assume this place has monsters. Oh, Jeebus. Oh, Jeebus. Oh, Jeebus! <laughs> Alright, what do you got for me? The lady with the stick. Again. And the pox marks. And, and, the, and the weird crow creatures. Rude? The, the speed. That misspelled speed. <laughs> uh, 
the souls of destruction be sealed to this land, that the power of destruction be released as all seals are broken. Okay. <laughs> cool story, Brosif. Alright, so that's where the fire thingy was. But how do I get over there? Oh, shit! Oh, it's a maze. Damn it, Napa. Okay. Oh, okay, so now it's yellow. Wait a minute. Hey, hey, I figured it out. Do 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 do. I figured it out. Do 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 do. All right. So if it's yellow, then it was. Wait, why would green and red make yellow? <laughs> I don't know, man! Why do, why why is it headless naked la naked ladies? Why do we have headless naked ladies right now? Game! Game! Why why do we have headless naked ladies? I know they're naked ladies because they got boobs. Also, they're still covering fox marks. Uh, are they dead? Cool! Th th their neck stumps turn into a mouth stump. Okay, character designs. <laughs> you cray. There we go, now it's red again. Because there's that purple one. And so I'll need to find a blue stone to use the purple one, I assume. Okay. This is a place. Definitely a place. Uh, die, please. I got cool. Cause Yuri and he's cool. Except he can't hit for shit right now. What the hell? Okay, please don't shoot my party members. Like, that's a mighty room. Okay. I'm gonna finish this fight and then I'm gonna save my game. <laughs> Alright. Done all my stuff. Got a door. Move ahead. Alrighty, man. Let's do this. <laughs> I'm gonna get him. 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 Gonna get him. Hmm. Well, this is quite a place. Hard to believe the basement contains all this. It's enough to make the hairs on the back of my neck stand up straight. The spirits in this place are very different from any other place. They don't feel any happiness or pain. They're just nothingness that floats around. Maybe all those graves aren't for humans. Uh oh. I have been expecting you. BACON! <laughs> Oh, I'll never get tired of that. Albert, old buddy, where are you hiding these days? I'm right above you. Please, come on up. You just sit tight. We'll be there before you know it. This is gonna end poorly. This is gonna end poorly. This is gonna end poorly. We'll get wrecked. <laughs> At least there's a safe point right outside the room. Cody! Cody changed her clothes. <laughs> Cody has a dress. <laughs> this is weird. No, Cody needs booty shorts. Or, well, I mean a booty skirt, I guess. She wears a ridiculously short skirt in Kodalka. She's also a badass. Roger Bacon was certain that the door of judgment would be open. Ha! Huh. So this is all part of your plan, too, eh? You're not planning on running this time, then. This is the big finale for me, you see. Which means you'll finally be able to achieve closure as well. Albert, what are you planning? Is it the same as the Demon's Gate invocation? A little more complicated than that. Alice, I broke the seal inside the Vatican and stole three secret books. The first was the Pulse Tract. With it, one can summon the Earth Veins in order to awaken ancient gods. 
Devlai went far with this. He worked the psychic radiance, but somehow it remains sealed within that boy. Next is the emigrate documents. It creates life from nothing and can be used to summon a god of death. But both Patrick and Jack failed. The only one suc the only they only succeeded in making a soulless puppet. And finally the Codex of Lori. It tells how to summon the other gods, which I am now attempting. An omnipotent god from far from the far reaches of space shall descend upon Earth and cleanse us. He's summoning Cthulhu. No, wait, Cthulhu's asleep on our planet. Um, he's summoning. Oh God, he's so he's waking up Astaroth. Oh God, he's waking up Astaroth. If you don't know what that is, read read the Cthulhu stories. Read Lovecraft. Except just ignore all the racism. Hey now, you quack magician! I can't let you do that! You can't hurt others just so you can play this game of misplaced vengeance! Yuri, you still haven't figured it out. That in order to begin anew, we must first wipe the slate clean. She sounds like, uh, Claudia from Silent Hill 3. It must first be cleansed with fire! Shut up! Who do you think you are, some god? Don't flatter yourself. You're no different than me, an ordinary, pathetic human. You got plenty of excuses, but I think you're just after revenge for what happened in the past. My father worked hard to protect this world. I'm not letting a deluded scheme take it all away. Good God, I need water. Fool, what value is there in a rotten world as this? Do you really believe that your power alone is enough to, to right all the injustices of the world? I can see. Not perfectly, but I can see the future in store for this world. A foolish elite will soon bring about a tragedy which will inflict great misery upon us all! So guess what he actually saw? He saw the World Wars. Yeah. <laughs> well, because this game takes place just before World War One and World War Two. None will escape, and the earth will overflow with the screaming of the dead who know not yet their fate. An iron behemoth shall rise, and in a flash, countless lives will be snuffed out. A hopeless future! I think he's talking about the atomic bomb there, actually. We mustn't bring this future upon this world, but this terrible vision is drawing nearer as we speak. So, before that hell is upon us, we must begin again, and that is precisely what I intend to do. Why you gotta be so rude? Okay, that's just rude. You're a lunatic. <laughs> the sages of every age recall that. Let history decide whether my actions were good or bad. For now, we must simply fold your head. Kodelka, witch of the dark flames, come with me and let us raise the throne of the other gods. The legacy of the ancient gods, Niamito. Cody, no! Not my Cody, not my girl. Well, crap. Cody's like, nah, screw you. <laughs> it's like, dude, you forget with whom you are fucking. I am Kodelka. <laughs> what? But why? The power overflow is stopped. The float cannot be raised. Kodelka, is it you? God darn right. Stop. Now. You can't defeat me with your power. You're going to disappear into the darkness with me. To a world of nothingness. No! Cannot be! Are you saying you intend to kill us both? You wouldn't understand. I'd give my life to save that child's future without a second thought. What? <laughs> now. No, Cody! No dying! No dying, Cody! No! You cannot! Oh, come here, Christmas. You, you, you leave 
leave my you leave my girl alone, okay? You leave my girl alone. Kodalka! No! The soul contract? Exactly. With a mon, master of destruction. He's here's the twist upon the twist upon the twisty twisty twist. Yeah, he's a fusion dude, just like Yuri. I wanted to say this path lost, but I have no choice. Yeah, <laughs> Argle deep Argle deep. Albert! <laughs> Yay. Come for me. You think you're the only one with fusion powers? Ah, Christ. <laughs> All right, how bad is it? Okay, it's just an old man still. Cool. <laughs> Holy chesticles! That's some Ark of the Covenant shit. <laughs> All right. <laughs> okay, I see. I see what you're laying down here, game. Uh, no, I'm going to kill you. With extreme prejudice. <laughs> well, let's see what we got here. What we got here? Let's go with Nova. Let's see how that goes. Come on, big money. Was I right? Was I right? Yes! Because I did so much damage, I know I was right about, um... Him being damaged to light, so he's a dark creature, quote unquote. Um, what I need you to do? I mean, none of this is really useful. Maybe I should have. Oh man, maybe I should have brought you, Shen. <laughs> um, heal Alice. I don't know. Do something useful. <laughs> oh, <laughs> this is new. Bigger. <laughs> I don't like this. This is a bad idea. Oh, also, I'm running out of SP, so I should probably give some to some people before people start berserking on my ass. <laughs> this is a weird way to put that. Don't berserk on people's ass, you guys. It's not very nice. Instead, just, you know, murder them in their face holes. Even if they're giant, scary demon dudes that the main antagonist turned into. Even though the main antagonist is Toki Bacon. <laughs> and I got him! <laughs> that took a fair long while. Literally, that boss fight took about a half hour. Oh, the boss fight's getting juicy now! And by that, I mean just they take forever in your standard JRPG fashion where boss fights take forever. Oh, yes! I was hoping Alice would learn arc. Ooh, we can get ourselves another water. Water fusion for Yuri. Hmm. No, the soul contract. I cannot lose. Huff, huff, huff. It's over. It's all over now. You are overconfident. Is <laughs> is it I? It is I who will end it. Haven't you noticed? All of the power generated by our battle has been transferred to the float. What? Uh oh, we played right into his hands. It was probably Plan G at this point. <laughs> Soon the float will appear. You cannot stop it now. I have won. I have won. Y'all rude. Just saying. Ah, oh, criminy crit. Oh, that's gross. That looks like some uh, Cthulian cross with some uh, some xenomorph shit right there. That's gross. So he was gonna use Kodelka. 
and use Kodelka's power. Now? Now he just took the power from our fight. And I'm assuming some of Kodelka's because she had a soul contract thing. Uh, ooh, oh, oh dear. Oh dear. <laughs> Didn't make it in the history books. <laughs> Hi, Tofu Bacon. How you doing? For early PS2, these are my ultimate dream. Now I shall achieve it. Behold! Worms who convicted me in Nuremberg 400 years ago. Behold the fruits of your folly. This light. This storm now is the end of the world. Oh, See, I was about Lord, to. This throne of the Lord on high. Shut up, Tofu. This is indeed the signpost to a new tomorrow, the medium by which God shall bestow a new future on the world despoiled by human corruption. Oh God, at last the time has come. From the distant reaches of the universe and time, descend now upon this earth! <sighs> thousands upon thousands before me have tried, but failed. But I am the one who will finally achieve it! Tofu gone nuts. <laughs> So yeah, he's summoning an elder god. Also, I was going to say, oh, how, look, like this is really good FMV for early PlayStation 2, and then his mouth started what moving, and I was like, oh no, wait, nope, never mind. <laughs> hey, look, an easy way to get up there. Hi, <laughs> Bacon. Tofu Bacon. Fake Bacon. You can do to stop it now. <laughs> I mean, I could kill God. It's a JRPG, you guys. That has to deal with, like, religious themes. Y'all know we're gonna be killing God in this game. Seven days from now, God shall descend to Earth. You can wave your fists all you want. It will change absolutely nothing! So we have a week to prepare for the final fight, is what he's telling us. Oh, never mind. Oh, right, we teleported. So who the hell made that thing? The blackness of the abyss awakes. The pulse of the stars. The life force of all living things. All will be stopped. Death will rain down upon the earth like mana. <laughs> Could you like not summon Astaroth or Cthulhu or Nyarlathotep? Or just like don't summon an Elder God. <laughs> don't summon an Elder God. <laughs> that was quick. How is she doing? She's resting in London Rat's hideout. She's in better shape than I thought. Yeah, because you thought she was dead. I'm glad to hear that, but... Well, our trouble is just starting, I'm afraid. Hey, Raj! What's the big castle-looking thing, anyway? It's one of the legacies left behind by the beings who visited this planet long ago. It's me. When you say one of the legacies, you mean there are others out there somewhere? Oh, definitely. About a hundred of them, I guess. A hundred gods. Th that many? All that remains is ruins, but there was once a person in the past who tried to revive them several times. It's just like the renowned Tower of Babel. It's not something that can be easily controlled by humans. That Albert guy, he said the gods would fly from the depths of the sky. But what is that Neem machine? It is. It was he who said that Neem needs floats in the ancient tongue of Ebi. Do you know what a float is? 
It's a thing that bobs when a fish bites when you're fishing. Once the plug goes up, God will God will home in on it from the M72 Nebula, some four million eight hundred thousand light years away. What the fuck? <laughs> you mean God lives that far away? That doesn't sound right somehow. Yeah, you're telling me. Calling it God is something humans dreamed up themselves. More precisely, it's an alien organism. It's freaking Elder God. <laughs> Don't summon Cthulhu. So God is an alien, eh? I always thought he sits on this leaf with his hands like this. What? That's Buddha. Oh, <laughs> listen. If you saw a human with the te with the eyes of an ant, they would seem overwhelmingly huge, right? You wouldn't want to fight them, would you? Ants may not understand it, but humans could almost be their god figure for them. So are you saying that to this organism from space, we're the same? Just like ants? Per and we're gonna kill an elder god, great. That's correct. So I'm an ant, huh? Why are you so depressed? Something too overwhelmingly powerful for humans to deal with is coming to this planet. I suppose if that happens, Earth and everything on it will be wiped out. Rude. What's wrong? Well, that's what we gotta fight, right? What? You really intend to fight? Isn't there a way to, any way to stop it? Is Alba really going to bring about the destruction of the world? There is a way! <gasps> We've got to destroy the float inside me before God homes in on it. Can it really be done? But it's floating in space! No, it's floating in the sky. <laughs> it hasn't gone to space. <laughs> and that's when the instantaneous matter transporter will come into play. Is he, he made he made the work. Go and start the generator for me. Seems like a really bad idea. Huh? This is a generator? How do I start? God, I've been I need to stop recording. <laughs> Get on top of it and run! Run! Run, I said! I'm not getting enough power! Why do I have to do this? Whoa! It goes flying off. Oh, shit. I can't keep going like this. Can you give me some more? Rude. Okay, fine. Okay, it only needed two. Cool. Good! Now we're moving! Alright, here we go! This is gonna end poorly! Ah, crap. <laughs> huh, he's gone? I'm back! Did you see that? You saw the teleporter was capable of, right? You can go anywhere using my teleporter. Yeah, it's pretty amazing, but did you almost get killed there? <laughs> please don't teleport half our body and not the other half, please. What's wrong with you? You're imagining things. We still need a slight adjustment, but it's pretty great, huh? If you set the target to name specific coordinates, it flies right in. There must be another way. There is none! Well, okay then. <laughs> Sounds like fun! If we're gonna die either way, might as well go out with a bang. So let's try it out. Who knows? It might all work out. <laughs> Famous last words. You really don't trust me, huh? I can't believe it. You speak that way about my greatest invention! No, I didn't mean anything. Yeah, that's right, Raj. We love your machines. Take us to the stars. Neem, here we come. Trust me, I'll make sure to get you there safely. I promise, promise, promise. Since we made our decision, I'll get ready. 
please get ready for departure too, everyone. Yuri, I'll be back at the hideout. Bye! Can I save, like, please? Oh, okay, I have Margaret. Cool. <laughs> sudden Margaret is sudden out front way. So, as long as nothing happens when I leave the observatory and I can get to the, me the, the menu, I should be able to save, which means I can end the episode, right? Please? Please? Please, game. Please give me this. Okay, cool. So, that's gonna be it for this video, you guys. This has gone on way longer than I thought, so the next one might actually be the last one, because originally there was gonna be three episodes I thought left, but this one has gone on for so long that we might just have one. I'm not entirely sure. It depends on how long it takes us to get to the final dungeon. So, my name is Miss Scarlet Tanager, and I have been playing some Shadow Hearts. I'll see you all in the next video.